So this deployment actually gives a lot of the soldiers and personnel an opportunity to uh, really test, test some of their skills as well as the, the experience. A lot of our soldiers that we have in the formation are junior soldiers. So it gives them an opportunity straight out of AIT or their uh, second duty station to really understand the why. And why is it important to do things the right way for leaders, PCCs, PCIs, and then with the uh, numerous amount of exercises, the importance of actually being good at your craft because when you're out there, people truly do, uh, depend on you. I think one of the major challenges was uh, occupying a, uh, a base that had been closed down for a number of years, um, establishing that footprint. Our best reason for recognizing friction points is to make sure that the units coming after us have all the tools, all the knowledge that they need in order to make their rotation more successful than ours. We want to set the next unit that's following us up for success so they don't spend um, time chasing down or trying to solve issues that we went through. We want them to come in, have a smooth, seamless transition so they can come in, get started on their mission and move forward, which allows us to kind of step back and let them assume as fast as possible. Um, the greatest accomplishment while we're here is being able to uh, work together with our NATO allies. It's a um, very interesting thing to come out here and be able to work with a different uh, uh, the foreign countries that we've been to and be able to, you know, um, work on that relationship with them, reassuring them that we as, you know, as the United States Army is here to support them in every way that we can. Well, we do have a couple of missions coming up before we actually head back. Um, I'm looking forward to them because we get to go to different places. I have soldiers all over right now. I have soldiers in Poland and uh, a couple of my other battle buddies have soldiers like in Latvia and stuff like that. So again, I think it's good. We, we get to explore more than just the United States. It's uh, very important to educate yourself on how things are done here in Europe as opposed to being back home stateside, uh, as well as the aircraft maintenance. A lot of the coming out of Fort Bliss, Texas, where there's zero humidity whatsoever, there's a maintenance challenge for a lot of the a lot of the crew chiefs work on on the aircraft out here. You get to kind of go back to some of the basics of, you know, field craft, a different, a different thought process of how are we going to fight, where versus who, and uh, it changes the skill set a bit of what you actually want to get after and uh, practice on a on a regular basis. Uh, the most rewarding thing that I think that I've, I've seen out here is is be able to see the, the young leaders and soldiers grow, you know, do things on their own, be, having that opportunity to to make things happen watching it grow daily. Iron Dragons, ready to strike, attack. attack.